sticking with what's been happening in your sport, as promised in the previous hour, the focus is going to be on netball because the local netball season will get underway next month in Bloemfontein for the 2020 edition of the Telkom Netball League. The tournament was initially scheduled for a May 2020 start, but that wasn't possible due to the COVID-19 pandemic. At the launch yesterday, the league's sponsors announced that they'll be staying on for another three years, and that's in the current climate. I chatted to Netball South Africa President Cecilia Molokwane. We are very excited as Netball South Africa because at the end of the day, it shows that Telcom had faith in us and they believed in us. Remember when we started with them last year, they said to me, they were very clear to say to me, look, Cecilia, we, we have to be honest with you. We are testing their waters. And if we don't like the, the, the taste, uh, we are not going to go with you. And I, they didn't like it. I know they, they loved everything about it. So that's why they give us um, the three-year contracts that will end in 2020. 2022, but I'm saying it's just on paper that it's ending in 2022. This is a lifetime partnership. Cecilia, most other sports are struggling to keep their sponsors. Uh, surely that must have been top of mind when you entered the negotiations for another three years with Telcom. It was, because we, we are also struggling to get the sponsors that we want on board, because remember, Valen, we want to turn netball professional. And by turning netball professional, let's be honest, it's about the, the, the muscle of the money. There's nothing that you can do without money. So we, we are humble that our sponsors, even in COVID-19, all of them, none of them said to us, we're pulling out. And that humbled us as netball startup, because let's be honest, some sporting codes are not enjoying the the luxury that we we enjoying now of of sponsors still saying to us, look, uh, we are with you, we want to be with you, and we want to work this journey with you. And some have cut up the sponsors, but our sponsors never did did that. So we're so proud of them, and we hope that the partnership that we have with them continues for years to come. How did you get it right? Because many other women's sports are struggling just to get one sponsor on board. You need to be out there. And you need to voice your words. I mean, you have to occupy your space. You have to talk about your needs. Because if you, you sit on your corner and you don't do anything, you don't talk about your needs, nobody will know what Cecilia Molokan in Netball South Africa wants. So when you get a platform like this, talk about it. Like I will talk today to say, Telcom needs a, another partner, you know, to, to make sure that we turn Netball professional. Because Telcom alone we won't do it. So we need another partner on board to come there. So we need other big companies to say, or even a bank or insurance uh, company to say, we want to come into Netball because our players are not insured. And that's a thorn on our, on, on, our, on our heads to say, if our players are not insured and they're going to play Telcom League, where are we going? I mean, we need uh, banks to come on board to say we believe in women's sport. It's time that they believe in us because I think we have shown what women's sport can do in this country, especially netball. There's nothing more that you can ask that is not there out there to know about netball, what netball did since we took over in 2017. I mean, a lot has happened in netball. Everybody now talks netball. We are on everybody's lips. The performance of the team, how we are rolling our governance. I mean, we, we are getting there and we're doing exactly what needs to be done. The league is going to be starting on the 14th of October. Can you explain to us how it's going to work at the Mangaung Sports Complex? The, the girls are going into a bio bubble. Let me say the teams are going to a bio bubble from the 8th of October. And the bio bubble is going to work this way. When a player or the team is in the hotel, their only movement will be from a hotel to the training venue, back to the hotel, or to the hotel, and then to the playing venue and back to the hotel. No one is going to go to the stores. No one is going to go and visit family. No one is going to be visited by family. No friends will be there. Only the people that are accredited to be in the in the Mangaun Sports Complex will only be there. So even the health department will be there. So it's going to be very strict the way it was with PSL. We are not different to, to, to PSL because we all sporting codes. So people must understand that Yes, people that you know might be in Bloemfontein if you stay in Bloemfontein. However, it's not going to happen. We are not going to have um, spectators, so our people must go and watch TV and watch the Telecom League on TV. It will be live streamed. Coronavirus aside, how are you going to deal with the potential of increase 
risk of injury because a six week competition is now being condensed into just two weeks. You know, we have to be hopeful and pray hard. I think that's the only thing we can do because as I said to you, Raylan, and it's a sad moment to say, for me to say, you know, we don't even have an insurance that, you know, we can insure our players. We only have a liability insurance that everybody must have when they're hosting a big tournament as this one. And it's going, we, we're going to pray that, you know, the physios that are coming in with the team and the, 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 the preparations that the provinces are going to do now, it's not enough time to really train and be at the level that we want them to be at. However, we need to, to pray that nobody gets injured and no serious injuries or cares because by the way, we're building for 2023 Netball World Cup, so we can't afford such. What about our national senior team? When will they next be in action? We, we were talking with the coach. She said to us that she would like to see something going on in October. And we are thinking of um, anticipating on hosting the Diamond Challenge in this year in December. However, it will be controlled by the borders that are open, the countries that has opened their borders. I know our borders will be opened gradually. However, we don't know the borders of other countries. I know Namibia is open. However, we don't know the borders of other countries, whether they will be open or what. But that is what we are anticipating on doing this year. And if it doesn't happen, we'll do it early January next year with the hope that we'll, the borders will be open. All right, and that's all we've got time for when it comes